So this is a Friday night service call on a walk-in freezer. The complaint is, is that it's in the 40s. Doesn't feel like it's in the 40s to me right now. It's pretty cold. But it's definitely a little high. They definitely have soft ice cream. But yeah, the strawberries are a little bit soft right there, so we will see. Yeah, it looks like it's about 18 degrees right now. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any ice on the coil at this time. So I'm up here on the roof. This is our walk-in freezer condenser. Got a bad condenser fan motor. I'm gonna get that wrapped up right now. I got one in my truck. We'll get that changed out and we'll check the rest of the unit out. So I did check the, the temperature inside the walk-in freezer and it was about 18 degrees and it was set for like negative 12. So that's good. The other thing I noticed, this looks like oil, yeah. So this is a produce cooler, and there's some oil on this port right here, so we'll definitely look into that too, since we're here. 10 o'clock at night, almost 98 degrees outside. Gotta love Palm Springs. Anyways, I got me a Knitch fan motor right here. What is this, a uh, 9721 universal motor. These things are badass, they get you through the pinch. Um, if you don't already know, these heat craft motors from the factory is not a standard motor, it's actually a bigger motor. So unless you get the factory motor, the 9721 is almost the only thing that's gonna work. They run a bigger fan blade than normal. It's like a 14 inch fan blade and normally they're like 12. So if you just throw on, you know, a normal truck stock, uh, I can't think of a part number right now, but a normal truck stock and inch fan motor, it ain't gonna fly, it'll end up over amping and burning up. So you either go with the Fasco OEM motor from Heatcraft or you get the 9721 and that'll get you through the pinch. All right, we're up and running. Pressures are looking pretty good. It's a really high load right now. I'm still not super satisfied with these motors, even the 9721. I'm gonna do some research. We might end up changing, just putting the factory motors back in, but this will get them through because these things are getting hot. We're gonna monitor it and see. So that was a service call on a walk-in freezer not working. Um, when I got there, one of the condenser fan motors was down, so the unit must have been shutting off on high head pressure and it had already reset by the time I had gotten there. Um, it was about 100, just under 100 degrees outside at 10 o'clock at night, so I could only, well, I actually know, because I was out here earlier, it was much hotter than that. Um, I put a fan motor in there, I put a 9721 but it's still running on the higher side of the amps. I thought that motor would get it bought or would, would work, but it's still running a little high on amps. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and order the Heatcraft um, factory motor and uh, come back out and we'll replace both the condenser fan motors on this guy and put the factory Heatcraft motors back in. Uh, other than that, this should get a buy through the weekend. They'll be fine. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.